Okay, I was, um, I am coming to you from the Colney Family Cemetery, established 1870. I uh, just happened to find the spot. I am in Western North Carolina, and I was actually looking for one cemetery, but then when I tried to go to it, it looked like it was on private property, so I basically turned around and left. But as I was heading out, I just happened to see this up on a hillside and really almost missed it. So it was up on a hillside from the highway. So I turned around and they got to make a quick stop, see what it was. So apparently it's a small family cemetery established in 1870. None of the graves are modern. Um, they're all from the latest from the early 1900s, it looks like. But it's interesting, it's very well maintained. Did something interesting too, they put stones here so it won't get overgrown. But then there's flowers here too. So George uh, W. Colney. 1853 to 1922. Be careful. Anna L. Wife of G. Colney. Died 1906. Matilda, wife of Joseph Coney, born 1808, died 1885. Joseph Coney, June 1804, 18, looks like 1804, died 1870. And then there's a stone that's deteriorated, and there are a few stones that's deteriorated. Joseph Coney, that's his wife, or Matilda, wife of Joseph Coney. So somebody cares for it, which is nice. Uh, the flowers aren't real, but. But this is a good way to maintain a uh, cemetery. I've seen a lot of the old abandoned cemeteries that, of course, are overgrown. This is a good way to prevent that. Makes it a lot easier. And then somebody obviously maintains the... I mows the grass around it every once in a while. So, cool, nice, nice little find. So, respectful place in rural western North Carolina. Alright, hope you enjoyed this quick little visit, quick little stop, not much else to see here, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.